Hello, and thank you for joining me here today at Empowered Wellness with Chico. Today we are going to do a little self-massage for our faces, our jaws especially, and the neck. And I'd like to give a shout out to my friend, my good friend, Sejal, for inspiring me to do this video. And I'm glad she did because I think so many of us experience chronic tension uh, in our faces and especially the jaw and the neck region. So we can certainly do some basic things to help ourselves to ease some of that tension. So we're going to blend a, a variety of modalities in our short little routine here to ease that tension. Some of these techniques uh, include uh, marma therapy, some neurofascial release, and then also we're going to use uh, visualization and imagery and definitely nice conscious breathing, which is always a favorite of mine to use for, for any kind of healing. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about some of these techniques, um, I'm going to have some links down below in the comments that you can check out. And if you also enjoy this video, then I encourage you to like it and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of other wellness videos, including meditations that I do on a weekly basis um, and other yoga videos that I post frequently. And then finally, if you do find value in my offerings here on this channel, uh, then maybe you would consider becoming a patron and uh, signing up for one of my Patreon membership communities. It's a great way to support the work I do and the offerings I put out here on YouTube. But also, um, it gives you an opportunity to um, receive some exclusive videos that I only uh, offer my patrons that I don't put out on YouTube and then also receive some discounts on online workshops and other programs that I offer. So I have links to that down below in the comments as well. So um, check that out if you're interested. And now without further delay, let's, uh, let's bring some ease and relaxation to ourselves. So we're going to start out first just setting an intention. So I invite you to close your eyes and maybe even bring your hands to your heart space. Take a nice deep breath and just close those eyes and soften the face and relax those shoulders. Bring your awareness to the heart space. And as you take a few more nice, big, smooth breaths, just set that intention for compassionate healing. We so often are so hard on ourselves and we often judge ourselves or get angry at ourselves when we have tensions and discomfort or pain in our bodies. And so let's just set an intention to work with our bodies in a compassionate way, willing to receive the healing that we are offering ourselves. So let's take one more nice breath in and out. Ah, maybe you sigh out, sound out on that exhale. Awesome. And then let's open the eyes and we're going to start with just some, some gentle tapping. So take the fingertips and we're going to start right above the eyebrows. And we're just going to do some gentle tapping here above the eyebrows, across the forehead, and then work our way up into the forehead a little bit more to the baseline of our our hairline there the base of our hairline I should say and just do some gentle tapping it's kind of like we're just waking up the areas that we're going to be working on kind of saying hello wake up and then we're just going to continue our way across the top of the head just gentle tapping and then to the back of the head gentle tapping waking everything up and then even into the back of the neck and it's starting to bring some awareness to those areas and then it's kind of to the side of the neck to the base of the neck and tops of the shoulders here some gentle tapping this is not aggressive shouldn't feel deep at all again it's just kind of a little wake up a little hello to these areas awesome so come back to kind of the front of the neck and we will now take those fingers 
and we'll actually place the fingers right at kind of the brow line there and just allow your fingers to sink so our kind of modus operandi here is to bring our fingers where we want to work and then the step two is to just let the weight of the fingers gently sink into that area without offering too much pressure so we're not doing any kind of deep work here we're not offering a lot of excessive pressure it shouldn't feel intense and if it does just back off a little bit go to maybe 50 to 70 percent of what you might be able to tolerate if you're one of these people who really uh, likes deep work i encourage you to try something a little lighter today see how that feels to you and so once you let your fingertips sink into the areas let's take a few deep breaths and as you take those deep breaths, we're going to work with some imagery, some visualization, and maybe visualize those areas where our fingers are. Softening, relaxing, easing, whatever makes sense to you. Good. So now let's actually bring just those fingers that are right at the outside of the eyebrows. This is a marma point here, and we're just going to let our maybe first two fingers sink into that area and we're going to do little rotations in one direction so maybe three times slowly in one direction and then three times slowly in another direction in the other direction and then pause and then from there we're going to go to the right at the top of the eyebrow and same thing sink the fingers we'll go three times in one direction three times in the other direction and then sink the fingers and then we're going to go to the third eye point so maybe i like to use just one hand for this but i like to sink my two fingers right into that third eye point and again three times in one direction and three times in the other direction take a nice breath each time you take that breath, maybe visualize some easing, some softening. Beautiful. And then the next place we're going to bring all our fingertips is right at the hairline. So same thing, let your fingers sink. And we started at the eyebrows. You might be wondering, well, you said we're going to do the jaw, the, you know, jawline and the neck. Why are we starting at the, the eyebrows? And well, I also said we're going to do the face, but, but the other reason or the main reason we're starting at the eyebrows is because there is a fascial line, a neurofascial line that starts at the eyebrows and goes all the way down the back side of the head, back side of the body, down to the bottoms of the feet, connecting kind of all the tissue along the way. And so it can really be helpful to work kind of that whole um, part, that whole length. And we're not going to do the whole length today, of course, since we're focusing just on face jaw and neck but starting at the beginning of that uh, neurofascial line can be really helpful in creating ease all the way down that line beautiful so at this hairline now after sinking the fingers and taking some breaths now we're just going to do some gentle movement again you can do like three circular movements in both direction or maybe even just some kind of vibrating forward and back and this is a suture we're working with the frontal bone of our skull we're working with the suture there beautiful so after a little bit of that now we're going to find the other suture in our skull that goes right down the middle of the top of the skull there bringing our fingertips there letting the fingers sink taking a couple of breaths again nothing too intense and then maybe doing some movement here with the fingers and it might be even a little tender here especially right at the center there so just move that wiggle that around little movement there good and then we're going to come to the marma point so again you might just use one hand if that's easier bringing a couple fingers to that marma point right at the center of the crown there it's also a chakra area here our crown chakra region letting the fingers sink three times in one direction breathe maybe you close your eyes three times in the other direction visualize ease Visualize softening, visualize healing, whatever that might mean for you. Beautiful. Awesome. And now both fingers or both fingers from both hands 
back. And we're just going to do a little gentle massaging through the back of the head, making our way all the way to the back of the head. And now I'd like you to bring your fingers right behind the ear. So we're going to go to that area. Let me turn my head a little bit so you can see. Right behind the ear, kind of at the base of the skull. And then that area is a uh, area of uh, fascial webbing that can often get very congested. So we're just going to sink our fingers. Again, nothing too intense. We don't have to go deep here. Sink those fingers and just kind of uh, go in these circular movements with those fingers, slow circular movements, both directions, breathe. Uh, again, bring in that imagery, visualize some easing, softness, healing. Nice big breaths as you do that, even inhale, even exhale. Awesome. Wonderful. So from here, we're just going to kind of give our ears a little touch. So bringing Fingers to one side, thumb to the other, thumbs to the other side, just kind of working with the ears all the way down to the ear lobes. And then once we get down there, again, I'm going to turn my head to show you, there's a little bony protuberance right at the back of the ear, right at that bottom or the edge of your skull there, the occipital ridge. And bringing fingers, maybe one or two fingers to that bony ridge and just settle those fingers Again, sink the fingers, relax the shoulders. Make sure you're not shrugging here. Keep the shoulders relaxed as possible, but sink your fingertips into that bony ridge there. A <sighs> couple of breaths. And as you kind of sink your fingers into that space, just turn your head up and down slowly. And you'll feel maybe some massaging sensation there at that space. If it feels tender, you'll back off. If it starts feeling intense, you back off with the pressure. So adjust your pressure accordingly. And then bring the head to stillness at neutral and kind of turn, do those rotations again. Circular movements three times in one direction. Circular movements three times in the other direction. And then let the fingers sink again. Beautiful, nice big breath. And then we're going to work along that occipital ridge or the base of the skull. So taking the fingers inward, going inward maybe a little bit, about half an inch, right at the base of the skull, and let your fingers sink into the base of the skull there. So letting fingers sink right into the base of the skull there. Breathing. And once again, do that movement up and down. Relax the shoulders. Notice if you start shrugging relax those shoulders down as you do this and then again just those gentle movement circular movements one direction each time you do this again we're taking those nice full breaths conscious breathing in and out and maybe visualize easing softening and we're going to work our way in so continue to go in a little bit more and you should be kind of right outside the center point maybe just a little bit half an inch or so outside the center there and they might find some tenderness there, and that's a marmot point as well, so that may be why you find some tenderness, because there may be, uh, and often that tenderness, uh, excuse me, tenderness uh, signifies some sort of blockage, blockage of energy, blockage of tissue. So sinking the fingers once again with relaxed shoulders, maybe close your eyes if you haven't been doing that, keep your awareness more inward. And then rotating, or I'm sorry, moving the head up and down first, loosening it up that way first. Nice conscious movement of the head up and down. And then after a few times of that, now circular rotations in one direction, circular rotations in the other direction. Kind of makes your head move anyway when you do those circular rotations. And let the fingers sink one more time. Nice big breath in and out. And you might even feel with those breaths how the tissue kind of softens or eases under your fingertips. Awesome. All right. Release those hands and maybe give those hands a little shake. Relax those arms a little bit. Shake it out. Wonderful. So now coming back to that area, uh, again, that point right behind the ear at the base of the skull all the way on the sides. And right below that, bring your fingertips, bring, you know, at least two or so fingertips right below that along the side of the neck. 
So just sliding off of that bony protuberance right below that and just sink the fingers right there along the side of the neck and you'll feel some maybe some tension. You'll feel like the edges of your spine there. We're just going to breathe. This again is a marma point here. We're just going to take some nice breaths and begin doing those circular movements again. Three times in one direction. Visualize easing, softening, releasing. Other direction. Set all those fingertips. Breathe. Again, we're not looking for any kind of real intense sensation. And then we're going to slide the fingers down about to the middle of the neck. And again, just kind of feel the boniness along the sides of our spine there. Without any force, not much force at all. We're just sinking the weight of the fingers. Another marma point. And then circular rotations, gentle circular rotations. Remember our intention of compassionate healing. We're not trying to dig anything out or force anything out of the area that we're working. We're just being easy and soft and gentle and coaxing, allowing those areas beneath our fingers to soften and to relax and to ease with each movement, with each rotation, with each breath. Beautiful. We're going to ease the fingers down now all the way kind of to the base of the neck, still along the side of the neck though, right at the base there. And you might feel some of that tension or holding there. Again, sink the fingers. And if this isn't comfortable, sometimes crossing your hands or arms can be more comfortable. So see if that feels better. You can try both and see which feels best. I actually like it better crossing my arms on this last spot here, last marma point along the side of the neck, sinking the fingers, circular rotations, slowly in both directions as I breathe and visualize those spots softening, easing. <sighs> Maybe one more breath as I sink my fingers there. Beautiful. So now we're going to come back to the jaw area. And this time we're going to come in front of the ear instead of behind the ear. So bringing one or two fingers right in the front of the ear and just gently bringing uh, fingers into, again, the tissue there. And just settling the fingers there. Breathing, you might feel kind of some tension there, some um, congestion, you might feel like congestion, you might feel like a little hardness in the tissue, toughness in the tissue, maybe some soreness. So here again, we're going to move the head up and down first as we settle our fingers here at the front of the ears, right along the edge of the face, the front of the ears. And then... Bring your head to neutral and let's do those circular movements. So you're going to see me continually press my ear pods in because look, this movement's causing them to fall out a little bit. And then after your three movements in both directions, let those fingers settle again. Take a breath. And you might even do more than three because if you're feeling a lot of tension, feel free to do more than three rotations in both directions. Spend more time in those areas where you feel like you want to spend more time. But once we feel complete with that, now we're going to work our way along the jawline. So I'm going to take my fingers in the front and my thumb kind of right behind the back of the, the jaw there. So you can, you're, you're, it's almost like you're trying to pinch in a way the, the jawline there, the bone there. So I'm going to do that on both sides. And again, sink the fingers. And I'm really getting my thumbs along the inside or the bottom side of the jaw there. So sink the fingers, not a lot of force, relax the shoulders, breathe. Hmm. Once again, I'm gonna do that movement up and down as I hold my fingers in those spots. And after a few movements, I'm gonna settle in neutral. And I might do a little, instead of circular, it might be just kind of forward and back, kind of along the jaw there. 
Beautiful. And then I'm going to move my way down a little bit. Go further along the jawline. Sink my fingers. You might feel, again, you might notice some very tender spots here along the jaw, especially along the bottom side or the underside of the jaw where your thumbs are. Again, movement of the neck. So you kind of get the pattern here of what we're doing at this point. After a few movements, again, I'm going to do a little, instead of circular motion here, it's easier to kind of just go forward and back. And then settle those fingers again, breathe. We're still working with that nice, smooth breath. In and out, full inhale, full exhale. Imagery, visualization of easing, softening. And then bring it down again. One more time before we hit the center there at the chin. Ah, doing that movement. So we're layering up these techniques and they can be really be powerful by doing that. Accessing either marmor points or fascial regions that are that have a tendency to get congested. And then working with breath, working with imagery, in addition to the movement and the gentle massaging through the fingertips. Awesome. Now, when we get to the center, just kind of, I mean, you can use both hands if you like, or you can use one hand. You're just going to kind of gently massage that chin at the center there. And you start making funny faces as you do that, <laughs> as your lower lip gets pulled down. And then we're going to do that all along the jawline. Just kind of massage back up and down along that whole jawline that we just worked a few times. And then come back to that area right at the front of the ears there, all the way at the edge of the face though, right? We want to be right by the ear and the face, the edge, the borderline there. Sink those fingers in there again. And again, feel how that feels. Maybe you might notice a little difference in that space at the jaw. Uh, one more time, we're going to do the same thing where we move the head up and down. And then maybe did some circular motions as well. And then one final thing we're going to do here is we're now going to pinch right at the base of the ear. So you might have one or two fingers at the front and a, the thumb at the back. So we're not pinching the ear lobe. We're actually right at the edge of the face and the ear where the face and the ear meets that edge, that fleshy part. And just gently pinch that and then gently traction down and out. And take a couple of breaths here. Trying to ease some of the congestion, the tissue, especially the fascial tissue, get congested here in this spot. Nice breaths, visualize softening. What does that look like when you visualize softening? Use whatever imagery makes sense for you. One more breath here. Beautiful, and then relax that. All right, so we're gonna do a little flushing now to kind of bring all this into completion. So we're gonna start off flushing from the where we started at the top of the eyebrows. So just bring your fingertips there and sweep back and then to the back of the head and then down to the side of the neck and flush it out. So we're gonna do that a few times. So we worked back of the ears, front of the ears, side of the neck, and then out to the side. So imagine, visualize, maybe use some imagery here that we're just flushing and kind of cleansing those areas that we worked. Anything that's lingering, we're just sweeping off. We'll do that a few times so you can imagine that happening. And you're flushing it out and you're letting it just flick off and you're take, sending it back we're sending it back to be recycled. Recycled. Energy is recycled as we flush it out. Awesome. And then we're going to do one more type of flushing. And this time we're going to do it through the sides of the neck. So we're going to take, um, so I'm going to take my left hand to do my right side. So I'm just going to take the side of the neck, my hand down the side of the neck. And then I'm actually going to take it all the way off to my arm, my shoulder, my arm, my, and my fingertips, and just kind of, again, visualizing them just 
flushing out, cleansing, anything that's lingering, anything that's stuck or lingering that doesn't serve me. Do that several times like we did along the head. And it's all being recycled. All that energy is being sent off our bodies to be recycled. And of course we do the other side, taking those fingertips and just gently caressing, flushing, releasing, cleansing. Beautiful. So let's find completion with that. And then ah, let's one last time, bring hands to the heart space, close your eyes. Let's just observe what it feels like now that we've done our self massage there on our face, around the jaw, down the neck a bit. As you bring awareness to those areas that we worked, notice how it feels, whatever it feels like. Give yourself some gratitude, show yourself some gratitude for taking the time, making the effort to give yourself some of that compassionate healing. Awesome, we'll take one more big breath in and out. And then you can open your eyes. I hope that felt good to you. I hope you feel more ease in the areas of your, uh, your neck, your jaw, and across your face, your head. And so thank you once again for sharing in this practice with me today. I hope you'll visit it again on your own or maybe watch the video again and come back and do some more with me here on Empowered Wellness with Sheetal. Thanks again. Until next time, be well.